Greetings Cornerinos and welcome to a very special midweek live edition of Ian's VR Corner. It is the time of the week uh, when uh, new games, it's not the time of the week when new games come out, tomorrow is uh, when the biggest PSVR release um, of recent months comes out. It's Iron Man VR and a lot of people in the PlayStation VR world have been very excited about this game. Me included. I had a little bit of uh, criticism with it when I previewed it a couple of years ago um, and a few issues with the controls and stuff when I tried out the demo earlier, um, uh, earlier this month. But at the same time, um, I did feel like it encapsulated the feeling of being Iron Man perfectly and uh, it was a rip-roaring adventure. Uh, it comes out tomorrow but I've got permission to stream it today so I'm going to sit here uh, or or fly around here should I say for the next two hours showing you the very first two hours of the game. So whether you want to see how Iron Man VR handles before you buy it for yourself or whether you do not have a PlayStation VR and uh, just interested in how the game handles, this stream will be for you. There will of course be story spoilers because I'm going to be starting from the very beginning and playing the game chronologically from start all the way through for two hours. Uh, so if you do want to avoid spoilers, perhaps it's better to uh, jet off now uh, because... Oh, wait, I should have said, perhaps if you find spoilers repulsor... Did you get it? This is no, never mind. Um, but yeah, so I think with those warnings out of the way, um, I should be able to kick off very soon. Hello to everyone in the chat. Hope you're well because I'm inside a visor. I can't read comments and things, um, but I will check briefly, occasionally at the start, just to make sure audio levels are okay for you and either the game's not too quiet or, or the game's not drowning me out or whatever. But most of the time I'm going to be in here. Uh, the moderators, Miss Fraggle Rocks, Gavin UK86 and Nightcat are there to keep everybody safe. So um, uh, say hello to them. Press F to, to pay your respects to the moderators. And um, yes, I will. Uh, I will crack on with this. I've, I'm just wearing a plain black T-shirt today. I was trying to find something um, like Iron Manny to wear. I didn't really have anything red. I don't have any red clothes. And then I thought about going Starkers because Tony Stark. But Eva wouldn't let me. She talked me down from that one. So uh, oh no, everyone's booing my repulsor joke. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I uh, can't hear anything from the game right now. There is a little. There is f f volume from the game coming through. It's uh, I'll, I'll boost the um, capture device audio. It's quite a quiet bed, so I'm, I'm hoping that when the game starts, it doesn't become like incredibly loud. But um, we shall see. I'm going to pop in now. Now I see everyone pressing F for the mods. So I'm going to do that too. F to pay my respects to the mods. There we go. Um, so yes. Oh, before I do kick things off as well, let's quickly, um, some of you may be interested in what kind of uh, comfort settings there are. I'm going to play with all the comfort settings turned off because um, I don't care about my brain. Um, it's already ruined. Uh, you can have vignettes on for turning. You can have vignettes on when you get hit by um, uh, enemies. There is a tutorial just to test the VR and to calibrate your height. I'm not going to do that now. Also in the gameplay you can turn smooth turns on and you can have different speeds of turning as well. Very basic comfort controls but at the same time uh, they're pretty much all you're gonna need. So here we go, new game. I'm gonna play Super Heroic and I'm uh, that is a, uh, a balanced experience for players who enjoy some challenge and combat. Let's do that. Let's do this. It's very dark inside this uh, helmet. Can't can't see anything. What can you lot see? Oh, here we go. Is the loading screen? Uh, so uh, we're just about to play the pro logway uh, in Malibu, USA. I'm. So this uh, looks to me like the exact start area from the demo. Be aware of your headset cable. 
So I'm playing this sat down. This game is um, nice and easy to play sat down. It's probably, if I was going to say um, the best way to play, I'd say that standing up is probably the best, best way to play, just because you have to put your arms to your sides, oops, a lot of the time, uh, but just because I'm lazy and I don't want to stand up for two hours, I'm doing this sat down. And when I did the demo, I played the demo sat down as well. And it was perfectly fine. Just occasionally uh, my chair Hi. got in the way of... Hi, I'm Tony. My hands. Hi, Tony. And I'm... Well, you know who I am. The guy who has it all. Yes. Wealth, fame, impeccable taste in suits. Suits. What do you get the man with everything? Sweets. A chance to give something back. Oh. You can get me sweets. I'll have sweets. I don't want to give anything back. I just want sweets. Just want some sweets. I probably shouldn't have any more sweets. My lockdown figure's getting ridic. So this is quite cool. Obviously you lot are watching this on flat screen, but I have a, a VR representation of Tony Stark's helmet building all around me now. Um, the HUD comes out a, a fair distance from my about like say 30 centimeters from my face for each of these panels I presume you can see you can just about see these HUD elements here I don't think they're going to be too useful because they are very much on my peripheral vision but I do have my health here down below um, and it's starting off slightly differently from the it's starting off slightly differently from the demo now. Um, look at my lovely robot arms. Let's have a quick look at the graphics here. So PlayStation VR isn't known for its graphics uh, compared to PC stuff, but um, the Iron Man suit here is really crisp and clear and detailed. It's got some lovely lighting effects on it. It looks big and chunky. And I love the way that the metal has a, like, um, it's like a piston-y effect and it kind of all clunks and clicks around. Um, you can see and hear things stretching as your arms move. Uh, it's really, really nicely done. I have a full body, but I can't see my feet. I mean, I believe I got a full body. I can only see past my chest um, because my robo pecs are pretty massive. So I'm gonna put my hands out here. Actually, no, I'm just gonna quickly check for audio. Uh, game audio is fine. Okay, cool. I'll check again once combat starts, just to make sure that the explosions are not too loud. Okay, we Mark three test flight. Here Starting with maneuvering thrusters. Oh yeah, this is how we've done. Hands by my sides, palms back. Okay, so my hands are by my sides and my palms are back. <laughs> good, feels good. So just like Iron All Man, right. my jets are open in my up. hands. You see, Woo. having a little dunk, but. So basically, you fly in the opposite direction your palms are facing. Now, being stood up, this is going to give you a little bit more of a feeling of flight. But sat down as well, um, it's pretty good. I can't put my arms out straight, I have to kind of bend them a bit. Uh, but I am sat on like a sofa type thing. If you were just sat on a chair with, um, you know, no arms on the chair, you'd be, um, you'd be absolutely fine to straighten your arms out um, quite nicely. Uh, Distance-wise, the graphics pretty nice. You know, it's not um, the most high-res of games, and you are going to see a much lower definition uh, image of what I'm seeing because basically you're only seeing one of what one of my eyes is seeing, uh, which lowers the resolution a lot. Um, whenever I watch my VR videos back, uh, I always uh, my PSVR VR videos back. I'm always like, wow, that looks. That looks way worse on screen than it does in my headset. But yeah, this is pretty, it's looking pretty good. It's up there with one of the better Opening looking PSVR games. Pulsers ready. Hands Pulsers up. Pulsers ready. Arms forward. Okay. So to use my jets, it was these. But now to fire, it is the move buttons. And I think um, I had a problem with this during the demo. My, I was a bit annoyed in the demo that it wasn't the uh, move buttons to do your boosters and the triggers to fire because Bullseye. I kept getting confused and firing my trying to pull my triggers to fire instead of using my move buttons. Um, so I'm probably going to do that quite a bit and I'll probably moan about that quite a bit as well because I do love to moan. 
Uh, how turn do? There we go. But you may have a problem, level, Tony. Pepper, I have a lot of problems. I'm serious. You and this armor. Do I need to stage an intervention? Only if I start wearing it to bed. No. Where are you anyway? Look out the window. Oh, hi, handsome. Hi. Looks like you made some upgrades. Yep. Okay, so I need to seek and destroy my targets. Let's just double check audio again. Uh, there'll be Aoife in the chat, I think, because Zoe's off this week. Game audio seems a bit loud now. Okay, let me bring it down a bit. I did think it was going to be a bit too loud. I'll bring it down to there, and hopefully that's a good happy medium, but I'll check again soon. Okay, so I need to go shoot this bit first, fly under here, Wee -yaw. and then... Three more targets to go. So, because Iron Man has two iron arms, you can also fly with one hand and move shoot, before I shoot with t'other. I need to move closer to shoot, do I? Uh, you go a little bit faster using two hands to rocket, but... This is a good way more. to manoeuvre and shoot at the same time. I'm sure once people get into practice with this game, they're going to find uh, it very easy to fly and shoot at the same time. But it does take... Um, I always find motion controls take a little bit of learning right. in the time brain. <laughs> a little, little bit of brain learning. Fly to the locations. Just because, you, you know, I'm used to the PS4 controller and having buttons in weird different positions always throws me a bit. Okay. Anyone for tennis? Ha ha! No, you always win. Oh come on, we can play doubles. Enjoying the view? We yeah, should have pretty good actually. I'm not climbing that. I'll okay. carry you. And through <laughs> It'll the be cave. a dark day when I let you carry me wearing that thing. What? Well, that's some foreshadowing for sure. Inspecting the foundations? I should add a secret entrance down here. You know, it's yeah. not a secret if you tell me about it. I mean, the resolution, like, it's just a very low res lunch? photo you from Google Maps. The town behind that little 3D town. I don't think you're supposed to look that over that way. I think you're supposed to stick around here, to be honest. Right, I need to head down here. Start flight test. I'll try and get through this section as quick as possible because it is part of the demo. So boost, hands by sides, double tap, trigger to boost, Whee! And it charges pretty quickly. I think if I swap the DC motor for a solar power converter and apply quarter inch magnetic articulation cells to the thrusters, I missed one of my checkpoints. It does feel pretty awesome. Jetting Should around I be this down? like no, you. this. I've got a mind like a steel trap. Oh yeah. When's my birthday? Oop. Yeah, I'm sorry, Pepper. You're cutting out. <laughs> Sounds like you need to reduce your BS output. Lol. Oh, that's definitely an output I need to reduce. Okay, here we go. Through the cave of wonders. Wow. I'm Iron Man. Okay, hold the melee button on either hand. These ones. This is... Th okay, this is the weird one. Because... <laughs> there's like, it's like a melee move where you kind of jet forwards a little bit and do some punches. It <gasps> feels a little bit bizarre to do. Oh, God. I've totally scratched my suit now. Great shot. Thanks. Beautiful. Wow. Now I'm sure this extreme movement would make a VR newcomer feel a little bit ill, especially oh nuts, especially when they have uh, no uh, vignettes turned on like me. But oh nuts, I'm missing all my <laughs> all my targets. Time to punch um, but I'm I'm absolutely fine with this. Ooh. Did I manage to punch it? No. This is what I mean about getting confused with my buttons now. There we go. Did it. Well 
done, Tony. So camouflage has done it in 37 or seconds. Are you gonna go again? Good lord. No, I think I've got what I needed. Cheers. Uh, I think I'm gonna finish. Maybe later, after I noodle on it some more. Sounds good. Noodle. Meet me back here when you're ready. As you know, we have something to celebrate. This area in the demo was also a time trial area where you could um, do some combat practice and some flight practice as well. So I'm sure you can come back there whenever you want. Touchdown! Ego clap, 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 clap. I did a flying. Diagnostics complete. It was scruffy and I banged into a bunch of walls and I missed a bunch of targets. But I did a flying. I did an Iron Manning. I am Ian Man. Hey, Mr. Duck. Okay, so. We, it looks like we're still in the prologue, prologue way. Uh, after removing his armour in the garage, Tony heads to his room to dress for an evening with Peppa. Hardly a brooding loner, Tony Stark hosts parties with magnate celebrities and NGO startups alike, Stark mentioned. When terrorists captured Tony, Peppa coordinated a search and rescue effort with S.H.I.E.L.D. and Nick Fury. They found him in the exhausted Mark I armour. After removing his armour in the... G oh no, I've read that one. It's a bit slow on the load. Um, you can make the uh, the floor move, though, if you want to uh, you know, do a floor, floor willy. If you're immature like me, while you're waiting for it to load. Trapped in a cave with a gun to your head and a battery hooked to your heart really changes your outlook on things. Yours. My days of making weapons were over. I was proud of that. More importantly, Pepper was proud of me. Okay. So I'm wondering if this is going to go into the uh, the bit from the demo where we're on a jet plane or if we're going to experience a brand new part of the story now. Oh yeah, so this is completely new. Never experienced this before. Didn't experience this area at the, uh, the PlayStation event I went to back in the day and I did not experience this part of the demo uh, this part of the game in the demo uh, there is downstairs. no smooth move Pepper. here downstairs. Uh, there is no option to smooth move so it's just blink teleport uh, good little way to take in the Tony Stark mansion that is me Tony Stark there war profiteer to superhero um, Oh, lovely suit there, lovely tie, Cliff. I've got a red tie on. Who do I think I am? Hitman! Agent 47! Wow, this is quite the living room. <clears throat> Howdy, Pepper. Hey, Pepper. Nice dress. Can't fault you for staring. Oh, please. I'm just shocked to see you out of the armor. Yeah, I know he's playing itself. I was to your skin. Uh, not a bad idea. That is not a bad idea. Oh, wait. That's worth more if I sign it. It's worth more if I sign it. I forge your signature better than you do, Tony. Lol. Can I have a look? I'm capturing the moment. Damn it. As of today, Stark Industries no longer makes or sells weapons of any kind. Sounds official coming Except for, for me, right? Have you seen my glasses? I think you left them in the living room. I'm headed up to the Overlook. Grab your glasses and meet me there. Aye, aye, Captain. We can just catch the sunset. Okay. So my glasses are around here somewhere. Can I pick up these? I can. Sometimes Has Stark gone mad? Trade update. Oh, I can't pick that up, but I can turn up. Oh, no, I can. There we go. Trade update. Whee! Uh, oh, what a lovely roaring fire. This is like my uh, vacation home. Here we go. My glasses. Nice. That says alcoholic on that anagram challenge. I've been in lockdown for too long. <laughs> A better way to see the world. Hey, Tony. Looks like you found him. I'm waiting for you at the Overlook. 
Don't start the party without me. I There's one thing I gotta do first. Is it turn the piano off? Pack up the past. Oh. Okay, well there's a piano over here. Uh, mellow for my taste, but right for the occasion. Okay, so I can't change the piano musics. Uh, pack up the past, huh? Lovely palm tree in the centre of the room there. What's this here? Sun Tzu, the art of war, and technology, right hand man. Ah! Ah! Pepper, stop putting glue on the magazines! You're a monster! Not really. It's just, it's just a joke. <laughs> she didn't really. Um, okay, what's here? Ah, the oh. sounds of progress. New garage, new life. New garage construction, huh? I wonder if this is set after, like, Iron Man 3. Or if this is, like, separate to the, um... Uh, the Marvel movies. Not really sure. Probably could have researched it a bit, but uh, I didn't. I didn't. Ooh, a gun. Dad always said stick to your guns. Sorry, Howard. We did things your way long enough. I can't put it back down again. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. We're packing things up. I see. Wait. Can I do that? No. Okay, I've, I've packed up my gun. Um, head outside. Not yet, I think. Is that it? That was the extent of my tidying, was to put my dad's gun in a box. Fairly uh, symbolic, I guess. But uh, let's head outside and see what else is to be seen. Okay. Big loads on this game. Loading. So, so far, um, it's a really well-made game, very highly polished. Um, it doesn't really take any risks in terms of the uh, the Tony Stark mansion man. part. It's Pepper very much convinced. on rails. You can only go to places it and wants you to help. go. Soon the world will be convinced. Of Probably that. to help reduce motion sickness and stuff. The hardest stuff. part was convincing myself. My former. So. My affirmative. But yeah, again, graphically, uh, that Tony Stark mansion was pretty nice. And getting the sense and scale of Tony Stark's living room was pretty awesome. Uh, the trees are pretty lollipoppy. Um, and kind of quite low rest down there. But again, camera. it's still up there with... Um, uh, like some of the better produced PSVR experiences. It's no Resident Evil 7. That one is still, for a launch game, that's one of the best looking PSVR games I've played. Ace Combat 7's VR missions as well look incredible. Um, but this is still, yeah, it's pretty nice. I love the sunset. Uh, you get a nice big um, feeling of space and open here, which you probably wouldn't do or aren't getting with the flat version that you're watching right now. What is this? Is this more music? Can I change it? Oh, I can turn the music on and off. And ah, oh, I was hoping it would stay like that so I could pick my nose. I'll just give myself a face off instead. I'm going to take your face off. Let's put the music back on then. Screw it. Uh, okay, we've got a lovely fire there. The fire looks nice, actually. That's pretty cool. Um, pepper there. What are you doing? You taking a photo of just sunset, is it? Candlelit dinner, Tony? Yes, please. You're full of surprises. <clears throat> if you only knew. No silverware? We'll use our hands. I prefer Ooh, ironware. <laughs> uh, see. Okay. Giant metal boob. Remove! Palma de Fuego. Is so, this my new We're not having my new seat? Um not no. exactly. What? what? Huh. Right on cue. Stark Industries drones? Combat drones. Last of them. The dregs. I figured they deserve a worthy send-off. Huh. Okay, do I pick that up? No. Bye. Wait, do I? 
I don't know. It's not letting me pick that up. It says pick up prototype, but maybe my um Check it out. The strap snaps on automatic. Well done. There we go. My um, move it's controllers, I think, were coming out move away from the fine of the view cone of the camera. Okay, let's go over there. Let's put the Destroy the drones. Pew! Oh. <laughs> Bypassed. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Drone versus Repulsor. Stark versus Stark. Boom! Like I always say, Tony, you're your own worst enemy. That's right. So what's on the other plate? Cod piece? <laughs> <laughs> no. Dessert. Oh? Something sweet? Bittersweet. Okay, let's find out. What's behind door number two? Okay, here goes. Oh. The gunsmith AI? It's time the old Tony hung up his spurs. Why you not let me? Oh, there you go. Had to wait until it lit up. Oh. Beep boop. Is this? Hey, boss. Hello. Pots. Where's the party? Wherever you go. Not a fan of my new drones, huh? Nah. -uh. Well, Shield is on for him. Director Fury put in a full order. Ooh. I canceled that order. Oh. What? You're shutting me down. Early retirement. Souls boss. Boss, I'm... It's not your fault. I made you to make weapons. Created you in my own image. And now you want to change that image. I want to change the world. So, do I go to the trophy case or the trash? Your top shelf, pal. I'll keep you around. Suspended animation, but with full internet privileges. Nice. Well, guess I'll take up surfing. You cool? Gunsmith? But me? Of course I'm cool. I'm him. Me? Well, let's get to it, boss. A life of leisure awaits. See you on the other side. Bye bye. <laughs> Damn it. Thought I was going to catch and look really cool there, Pepper. Beep bloop. That wasn't easy. It was pretty I'll easy. I just had to. Oh, okay. That was nice and easy to pass it to Pepper, though. He was good at what he did. But what he did wasn't good. This is true. Dab him. Iron dabs. The world doesn't need another cruise missile or smart bomb. The world needs you, Tony. It's me! The world needs Iron Man. I am a man. I am man. Iron Man. Diddle and a epic music. Nice. Cool. Nice uh, gentle introduction to the game. Seems pretty cool. It is, uh, it's very well produced. It's got that kind of Marvel movie-esque quality to it. I think I can see what's coming. I think I can already guess uh, what's going to happen in the story here. Um, judging from what I played in the demo and what just happened there. But yeah, seems uh, seems pretty... Um... Oh, it looks like Jacob Emma's got the same guess that I've got, um, to be fair. But yeah, uh, it's quite a good premise for a game, if uh, what I'm thinking is correct. We're in the Stark Jet now, five years after donning the mask of Iron Man, Tony flies home aboard Stark Force One. Stark Force One, I'd call it something better than that. The Tony Jet, I'd call it. Stay within the orange play area circle. Oh, well, I hope that wasn't important. I'm just going to draw another floor dick instead. Whoop, whoop. Floor dicks. Uh, Tony obsessively upgrades his arm designs. Oh, <laughs> got, got, got uh, distracted. Uh, if we're up in the Stark Jet, this probably means we're at the second part of the demo now. Yes, so this part is also in the demo, and I played also played this part of the PlayStation um, preview. Strange. God, when was it? Twenty eighteen? Quite a while ago now. I've got legs. 
open the suitcase. Oh. Ah, lovely iron suit. Hey there, buddy. Hey there. Can I pick it up? Can't pick it up. I can check it out. Can I have a look at my iPad as well? Yeah. Swipe. Morning, sir. Ooh. May I get you something? Morning, Friday. Friday. Have you seen Pepper? I believe she's Is that putting an Easter out egg? a fire. Really? Did I start it? Did Probably. I start it? She's been on the phone with the press all morning. Lame. Something about your surprise announcement caused quite a stir. Or don't you watch the news? Tony Stark, no stranger to stunning revelations, shocked the business world today when he named Pepper Potts the new CEO of Stark Industries. Oh, it's like Pepper Potts. Mr. Stark admitted <laughs> well. he had not informed Ms. Potts of his decision prior to the announcement. Perhaps you jumped the gun, sir. It's the opportunity of a lifetime. She's going to thank me. I'm going to kill you. Oh. I'm your assistant, Tony. You need to warn me before you do stuff like this. Okay. You're not my assistant. You're the CEO of Stark Industries. Or don't you watch the news? Dark. I should. I'm gonna. Boy. It's good. It's nice for Tony Stark Pepper, to employ I'm ghosts. Not always right. I mean, I'm usually right. Tony! But here's the thing I wasn't put on Earth to sit behind a desk, and you weren't put here to handle my unpaid parking tickets. I was going to ask if there are any more of them. There are glove boxes full of them. That's not the point. The company turned a corner years ago. We're a force for good in this world. I want you to get that message out there. Don't people always try to shoot the messenger? Sometimes. No. <laughs> oh, ah, needed that. Friday. It's well early in the morning. Uh, you did, sir. Unfortunately, I'm not in control right now. Oh, my. Someone has taken us over. Oh, no. Remotely. Well, this isn't Out good. There. It's a Stark drone. A combat drone? What? Make combat drones anymore? The drone oh. is encasing itself in some sort of hard light shield. How on earth could a combat drone from Tony Stark Industries now be evil? Hello, Stark. Rot row. Do I know you? I'm just a ghost from your past. Oh no. Scared of ghosts. Quick. Over. Tony, look! Oh nuts. Coming. Who's coming? Ow! Time to die. Oh, my worst fear. Oh, I don't like it. Oh. Ian and children first. Ian Friday. and children first. Override my safety belt. What? Pepper, I, I know. Just come back in one piece. What? I'm not going out. Ah, oh, shit. Ah! LOL! I'm doing a falling. Ooh, clouds. Oh. Fast drones. Gauntlet at me! Blah, blah, blah. This is cool! Shoot it. Pew pew! Gauntlet at me! Gauntlet pew, 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 pew. Yeah! Chest, coming in on your left. Chest me! Yeah! Give me head! No! No! I'll just let them put it on. <laughs> cheers, cheers for keeping the spammers under control mods. Okay, loading. Sorry, I just hit my microphone there. Whew. That's the cool effect of the breath on the inside of the visor before the uh, before the windows open. Imagine if there's a little handle inside. I had to wind it up. <laughs> All systems online. Okay. Boosh. Let's go. Boost. 
We'll see about that. <laughs> Can you hear me? A little windy, but yeah, I hear you. Here we go. Time for some exciting air-based combat, my friends. As we Iron Man our way through the sky. Old news, Friday. Tell me about something I didn't just jump out of. Scanning. Boom. There's an engine fire that needs your attention. An engine fire. A secondary explosion on the right engine, sir. Got it. Oh. Fire suppression system online. It's quite generous with where it lets you uh, kind of lock into That's these issue to deal with. Um, job, action sir. areas. So the autopilot is no longer responding, and the jet is projected to crash into oh. a populated area. Oh. I'll deal with the autopilot. Pepper? No, stay put. It's too dangerous. Oh, it's cool flying over the plane. If I put the brakes on, there is. They're giving us the silent treatment, but their hounds are clawing at the door. This is pretty awesome, to be fair. The clouds aren't as good as they are in Ace Combat 7, but they do look oh. cool. More? Oh, there's my... Pull! Oh, there is a way to... Is it? Yeah. Help. Hell yeah! There she is. Okay, I think I need to do something. No. Well, that's not cool. Ah, uh, enemies. Where are they? Here they come. Pepper! Pepper, come in! So the, ah, the guns overheat um, quite quickly. But shooting is pretty, uh, feels pretty cool. I think playing the demo was, um, has got me a little bit more accustomed to the controls than if I'd have jumped in uh, blind today because uh, I'm doing a lot better with this combat than I did during the demo and I kept getting my buttons confused. Uh, guys, I can't steer. Sir, the aileron on the left side has been damaged. What's an aileron? Is that fixable? I'll have to wing it. Does an aileron fly in a Eurofro? <laughs> that was bad, sorry. Boink! I'll have to wing it. That was as bad as one of mine. Get bent. Who wrote this script? Me? That looks... Hi, Payne. I've located an airstrip for emergency landing. Thanks, Friday. Pepper, you think you can land this bird? Only one way to find out. Lowering the landing gear. Where's the landing gear? We've got... Oh, no. The landing gear doors are malfunctioning. Of course they are. Guess we're going to have to do some stuff here. Jet up to that. And free that. I'm a hero. It's all yours, Pepper. Ooh. Gear is down. Go to a landing, Pepper. Well done, both of you. Thanks. No I did the majority of the work, I just want to say. Oh, no, hold on. Your weapons will be the death of you. What? Sir, I'm detecting a new energy signature. More enemies? Ooh. Good. Oops. Trigger fingers getting itchy. More enemies, huh? Oh. Sidestep their attack, sir. Yeah. Meow. Whoop. Okay, if you start shooting when you've All got both but I'm sensing our uh, repulses lined up together. I think it does more damage when you're like concentrating the fire. It looks like it, the the reticle changes to yellow. All systems are down. Oh no. 
the big one's back. What? My controls are locked. What big one? Oh, that big one. Okay. No! Oh! What did that just teleport? Vanished from radar. Good lord. Get me back online. Boom. It's time to do a rescue, my friends. Nothing's responding here. Sir, I believe the jet is officially a lost cause. Pepper, find an exit. Run. I'm Iron Ron. <coughs> the fire is down in the cabin. <coughs> I'm trapped. <coughs> Ow. There's a panel beneath your feet, a compartment. It leads to the nose landing gear. The action's pretty, like, pretty, uh, what am I trying to say? It's like, it's, it's exciting action, but it's, it's not so relentless that it's tiring in VR. There's lots of pauses in between the action and stuff, which, um, is probably going to be, um, appreciated by people who are a bit newer to VR. Um, it still feels pretty good, though. The sound design's great. The music is um, appropriately adrenaline boosting. Boom! Next time, I want my own suit. That's cool. I did much better that time than I did in the demo. Da -da -da. My mission. How did I do mission results wise, though? Uh, Mission time, 6 hours 27. Bloody hell, I was only supposed to stream for... Oh, yeah! Five-star rating. Oh, check out my guns. Yeah. I got lots of research uh, totals there, so I guess maybe I'll get to do some suit upgrades. That was... Uh, that's as far as... That is where the demo ends. So anything onwards now from this point is going to be brand new, uh, never-seen-before gameplay unless uh, someone else is streaming this a minute earlier than me. Uh, HUD glasses. Tony smart glasses, blah, blah, blah. With Pepper in the hospital, Tony returns home with a black box from the drones that attacked the jets. How's things going with audio and things? Pepper's hairspray must be industrial strength, says Lloyd Mage. Hey to all 485 people joining me. Um, welcome. If you haven't guessed by the title and the gameplay, I am playing Iron Man VR. It comes out on the PlayStation VR tomorrow, and so far, uh, I'm pretty impressed with it. It's it takes it doesn't take a huge amount of risks when it comes to VR because um, this is I guess because this is a like first party like exclusive release um, that Sony wants to make sure everyone can enjoy, it. and it's not like a super hardcore experience like No Man's Sky VR or something like that. But even then. Um, so far, it feels like it's a bit of a must-buy if you have a PlayStation VR. There hasn't been a huge amount of, like, really notable titles coming out on the PlayStation VR for a while now. Um, this one feels like, almost feels like one of the biggest titles for PlayStation VR this year. Uh, I've got a couple of cool things on the horizon for PSVR. Um, Dreams VR, that's going to be pretty sweet. And uh, also uh, my most wanted game of the year, Star Wars Squadrons. Usually I see the danger before it hits, even from 20,000 feet. But someone got the drop on us. It was 3 a.m. when I left Pepper at the hospital. I had a plan. And I knew she wouldn't like it. I went home. And I woke up the guy who knows my old weapons better than anyone. Your dad? Wait. What's going on here? Just once. Has Tony just, Stark really changed? Just this once. I'm in a bit of a dreamland here. Gunsmith. Do I have to pull that out further? Hello, old friend. Nope. I nearly punched myself in the junk then. Maybe the gunsmith isn't the baddie, then, if we're waking him up. Here we are. The Tony Stark bedroom, where he becomes Bony Stark. Hi-oh! Shazam. 
Let's open the box and uh, let's get the Frisbee of Doom out. Bleep bloop! Engage! Hey, boss! Hi! Hey, pal. Where's the party? Uh, party's over. Wherever you go. Let's be. Wherever you go. Hey, it's got a, uh, a lay. Is he doing? I smell like feet. Did you coke? No. Whoa, ho, ho! Blast from the past. Oh yeah. It's a power core from an old drone. You recognize it? It's just the. Of course, I recognize it. I built it. Oh. <clears throat> That's odd. I reckon there's going to be a lot no of serial number. Bits like this in between the action, where Where's you're just from? basically stood Hoping listening to stuff happening. Being stood listening to stuff happen is kind of like Sir, feels a bit early Ms. days VR. Moved to a secure location, you just looked in a place and you're like, Neh. sorry, I didn't realize we had company. But thankfully, the voice acting, the presentation, and everything, and the story is quite intriguing as well. Friday, these two gonna bring me up to speed here. These two gonna boink. Hey, I'm not a touch screen. Guns, maybe not. Show some respect. I thought we were going to get a digital romance going on. Miss Potts. She's. She's in hospital. And the cowards that put her there? Still at large. Help me find them. Help me find them. We'll find them, boss. And when we do. God damn it! Padoom. Okay, that robot, that digital man wants revenge. It's a bit it's awkward when it goes completely black like this and nothing happens. Nothing to comment on. There we go, it's a loading screen. I'm going to have a sip of drink. Fourteen percent. Ah, lovely. Thank you for all the thumbs ups, everyone. Hope you're having a good day. I'm going to be streaming this for another hour and ten minutes. I'm playing the first two hours of this game for you all. Uh, and if you enjoy what you see here, and you don't have a PlayStation VR, perhaps you um. Perhaps you can't afford one, perhaps you haven't been able to find one, or perhaps uh, VR makes you feel a little bit poorly, uh, but you still want to know what happens in this game because you're a big Iron Man fan. I will be continuing my playthrough of this in pre-recordo vision on Sunday. So after I've done this live stream, I'm going to record another uh, big playthrough. Uh, I'm going to edit that up, and that is going to be going live on the actual Ian's VR Corner slot uh, on Sunday. Uh, what is that? I hope Gunsmith has just like completely gone nuts. A man in the iron mask. Can I eat the peach? Is it a peach or a apple? Yes! Excellent. Oh yeah. That's how you program VR, my friends. Okay, cherry? Oh yeah. Oh, I, I'm annoyed. I'm not, no, I'm not annoyed. I'm not angry. I'm just disappointed that when I did that, it didn't come back with a little tide stalk like Tony Stark was well good at tie. How is Tony Stark going to eat these grapes? Is he just going to suck each one off the stem? Let's find out. They are going down. Got to get you five a day. Dainty. Look at that dainty little finger there. Lol. I'm Iron Man. What? Gunsmith dragged this thing out of storage? Oh no, Gunsmith has gone gun bonkers. Do I? Can I? No. Yeah, definitely Gunsmith has... Um, he's turned into a naughty, rebellious, Gunsmith-style teenager, hasn't he? Investigate music. It's down in, in, in t basement. Thought, thought Gunsmith was going to be a goodie for a sec, but wait, what's that globe over there? 
didn't see this globe before, can I? I live not there. Oh, it's there, there. No, there. Put it down a bit. No, there. That's where I live. Nice wallpaper. I like what you've done with the place. Okay, head downstairs. The vein of the dust. Yeah. My name's Iron Man. I live in a suit. When I get my repulsors out, the only thing to do is shoot. Yar! Hello. It is. Hello. Morning, sir. Morning. Morning, Friday. Any update on our enemy's whereabouts? Afraid not. Oh. It's that hard light, sir. Our enemy cloaked your old drones in a type of energy we've not encountered before, allowing it's the them first to appear out of nowhere. Suit. Hey, boss, you're up. <laughs> So's the neighborhood. Turn that down, will you? Oh. Meet me over at your suit when you have a sec. I got a surprise for you. Okay, wait. He's passionate. I'll give him that. He is. This is my suit, right? Okay. Wow. You have really gone all in on the whole nope. superhero I thought thing, maybe he turned you? into a baddie edgelord, but those drones came from yet? he just likes so hardcore serious. rock music. And yes, I mean no. I mean I will. But I've been thinking. You built a pretty great suit. I did, thank you. I think I can make it even better. You do? Standing on the shoulders of giants, of course. Mm -hmm. Pal, I brought you back to figure you out You brought something. me back because we're in a street fight. And you know I don't pull any punches. Just take a look. Okay. All right, give me the sales pitch. So, I've analyzed your armor and found places where we can make potential upgrades. Ah, uh, okay. Suit upgrades. You can view and customize the equipment in each of these slots by activating their corresponding UI widget. Go ahead, boss. Select one of the auxiliary weapon slots. Quite cool, this uh, little effect here. Left auxiliary. Oh, it's, it's got to be left auxiliary, has it? This okay. virtual workstation is where you can choose equipment to build and integrate. Oh, ah, that is a lot you of guns. Put together all kinds of gunpowder-based cool. goodies here, boss. Let's start with smart missiles. Smart. If you want to arm yourself with knowledge as well as hardware, the specs on each weapon nope. appear above nope. the table. For now, let's go ahead and build these. Craft. When it comes to this stuff, boss, I always there say more than smart man. missiles. Smart I look cool. To your other arm too. I will. Uh, how do I do that? Do I close? And then... Smart missiles. Click. And equip. Oh, good thinking, pal. Now let's go see okay. what these beauties can do. It'd be a tragedy not to, boss. Yes, but feel would. free to mess around with your suit some more if you want. Uh, and when you're ready, I'll still I've have you test the smart seven research first. points left. Well, that's how I designed the module. Okay. Let's see what else, uh, what have we got here? Power? Chassis. Chassis. Impulse has already got four of eight unlocked. I used to be an adventurer until I took a thruster to the knee. Uh, accelerator, supercharger, afterburners. What does that do? Overclock the boost module for more powerful boosts and a quicker recovery. Stabilize the iron boots, increasing your maximum flight speed, and tune the thrusters to increase acceleration, hit top speed faster than ever. I'm going to do supercharger. I like the look of that one. So let's craft that. And uh, that means it's already equipped. I guess it does. Okay. So yeah, two hit points done. And... Now what? Ah, okay, so... Over there. I can also go over here quickly, have a look around at some of the... Oh, I can go down there. There's quite a bit of stuff to check out here. Oh, nice! Oh! <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the best at upper body strength. Oh, I fell off. Got sweaty hands. That's not... 
can people actually do pull-ups like that? I don't. I guess you've got to be pretty tough. Look at me. I'm juggling can weights. Handle more. Yeah, I can handle more. Oh, can I juggle weights? No. They're a little bit too heavy to. Oh, and a bit. They bang into each other. Oh no! Screw it. Okay, weights. Can't do the running machine. What's this? I don't know. Ooh, a smoothie. Let's make a Stark smoothie. Clean living, a novel concept. Clop leap. I put that in there. Or do I have to take the top off? Get in there. Get in there! Oh, there you go. I just had to let go. I've completely forgotten about saving the world now, sorry. Mmm. <laughs> Juicy. What else have we got? Uh, uh, oh. Oh no, I didn't want to go here. What? I wanted to look in the fridge. Iron fridge. <gasps> hmm. This is the stream now, I'm afraid. Um, I haven't had my lunch yet. That looks really nice. That's fuller. More food. I give this game eight out of ten. <laughs> Do you get it? Can I... Ah, unlucky Pepper. Roxy Pop Roulette for Pepper later. Hum, 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 hum. Sorry, there's a video game, isn't there? Hold on a minute, though. Ah, the sweet side. <laughs> yeah! Okay, I like stupid shit like this in VR. This is much better than just having a, a standard, like, listen to some person talk, engage other mission. I like the fact that I can just bumble around Tony Stark's mansion, dick around with Tony Stark's toys. Nice big fan. Here. Big fan. Hook there. What is this here? Why can't I? There we go. Blomp. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, no. I've never been... I've never found throwing in VR with the move controllers easy. Um, also, the, definitely the balls are going a little bit out of my cone of vision. There we go. Come here, ball. I never normally have problems grabbing my balls. Whoa. Oh, that's because I had the stance right then. Two points, high score seven. Oh, must have been flat. Um, all right, well, uh, I came down the stairs. Okay, that was good fun. I like that, that was silly, but I enjoyed that. Um, I don't know what this is for. So I guess I should probably probably continue with the game. Head outside, sorry, yeah, sorry about that, everyone. How's everyone doing, did you enjoy that? Ian uh, says Lloyd Mate. I love this so much, says the transient one. <laughs> wow, Tony eats like me in uni, apparently, says uh, Kobe Morris. Tony, stop eating all the apples, says Toy Romano. I definitely, uh, yeah. I appreciated those silly little breaks in the action. I've played so many VR games where you're like, you're just stood there in a room and you're supposed to be immersed, but you just can't touch anything. None of the props are... You can't pick up any of the props. You can't fiddle with any buttons or anything. The The secret to, like, really immersive VR I've found is just the little bits, the little bits of details. Scratches on some glass here and there. Fingerprints on a monitor AI screen. Bits and pieces you can pick up and play well, with. About the night just the everyday stuff mm -hmm. that you don't think about in real life. 
felt like stumbling back into an old haunt after years away. There was no judgment. No, no. where have you been? Just, what do you have? It's hot in this headset now. It's not as hot as it was last week, but my face is hot. If I take this headset off now, I'm probably going to have a big red sweaty face. So I'm not going to do that, my friends. I'm going to carry on and not be sweaty in front of you all. What's on the menu today, sir? Gunsmith suggested More apple a soap, though. Whoops. Oh, did he? That's Whee! a surprise coming from him. But encouraging, I suppose. What would you like to do first? Let's start with ground pound. <coughs> oh, I love this one. Let me find a good place to test this out. Okay, where are we doing? Over here. Boom. Okay, so we're back to the training area to do some bit more testing. This spot looks good. I recommend you manually engage thrusters to focus on ground pound. What? Tap the hover button. Okay, I'm hovering. Give me a target to hit. How do you aim it, sir? I pick a spot and then make a fist. Oh. Charge your fist, look down, and see the reticle. Fist. And then I... I aim my fist. And then... And... Bam! Smoosh! Another target, please, Friday. Okay, so I have to engage hover, then... Get fist... No. Maybe I have to go a bit closer. Engage hover. Fist. Fist me, Tony. Nice. Right. I admire your handiwork, sir. That's nothing. Friday, give me nine targets. Well, nine. Nine, sir. Well, someone's feeling brash. I can hit them all if I do this right. Oh. Okay. Look at me. Hovering. And then... Mm, Smooshing! Oh, I missed one. I can do better. Oh. Oh, no, don't make me do this all day. Smashing, sir. Ha ha ha. What's next? Smart missiles. Smart. Oh, something Gunsmith made. Sir, I was under the impression you brought him back to locate the source of your old drones. He's a skilled multitasker, just like me. Indeed, sir. It's just... Well, I thought we were brushing up on the fundamentals and... That's right, Friday. And these wrist-mounted beauties put the fun in fundamentals. Whoa. So give me a new target. Please. Certainly, sir. Move to position. Certainly. Okay, where's my position? There it is. Wow. Nice and easy to fly around now. Okay. I've got my head around now. Auxiliary weapons, so hands up, palms down. Hands up, palms got down. It. Try aiming with your left gauntlet. Paint the target and fire. What are we firing with? Okay. Whoa! Those pack a punch. Try aiming with your right gauntlet, sir. Paint all of the targets this time. Oh, okay. I think I had a little bit of trouble with this in the demo, actually. I think the smart rockets are in the demo. <laughs> Gunsmith is not messing around. Getting my hands in the right Instead, position. Instead, why don't we review your repulses, sir? Maybe sure. just that's a memory these. problem. Hands hands up. Up. Palms. Oh wait. You're all hat at this. I mean, I am, I am. Hello. You. Let's test weapon switching. Repulsors palms up, auxiliaries palms down. Okay, Certainly. he's really drilling it Get into it me now. Repulsors, red for auxiliaries. Excellent. Okay, no, it's easy. Right, That's actually Time a much more thorough tutorial about the weapons than, in the, the, than was in the demo. So, palms down. Plibbly plobbly? Can't. Am I not close enough? I don't think I'm. Huh. Ow. Formula just right. I should give my repulsors a rest and try out my auxiliary weapon. Uh, 
Uh, where's the... Oh, they're over there, are they? Okay, so more... More auxiliaries. So I'm going to use one hand. And I'm going to try and fly... Right round. There we go. Perfect! What would you like to do now? Well, have another apple. Let's throw them in the pot together. A cooking class, sir. Excellent idea. Yes. I'll set up the flight course. Okay. Wait, what? A flight test? I can already fly. Zoom. Zoom, zoom. Zoom, zoom. Wow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Time to rock and roll. That way? One. Boost! Uh, zoom zoom! Okay, I'm gonna try and not miss a. Oh, oh fudge. Uh, punches this this one. There we go. Oh god, no. Too many buttons. There we go. <laughs> Don't. Oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, nuts. Oh, I missed that one as well. Damn, nuts. Ah. Oh. I'm the worst at Iron Manning. Right, hard turn. Ooh. Uh, floor punch. Okay, alternate hands. There we go. Shit. Midpoint reached. Midpoint reached. Damn it! Okay. Punch it! Punch it! Punch it! Uh, fuck! Do I get points for skimming like a stone? I don't think I do. Ah, shit! Okay, ooh, maneuvers. Excellent shot. That gives a bonus to your performance. Oh good, I, I think I, I need a bonus after missing like 32% of the what's it? Up we go. Oh shoot. Missing a waypoint results in a penalty. No. Be sure to hit them all. No. Yes. I hope I'm not being oh, fuck judged on style here. Come on. What's that? Oh, uh, this. That one. Shit. Ah, fuck. That was uh, that was me getting confused with the triggers and the move buttons there. I think that's the first time I properly got confused by them then. Not too shabby, sir. But can you do it in under a minute? No, I definitely cannot. <laughs> Not this time, Robot Pepper. No. Not this time. Understood, sir. Friday, that's your name. I knew it said the right there on the Okay. Hopefully there's not like a bunch of those kinda time trial missions between each part of the game. I think this game's about thirty odd gigabytes. Um Spledwing. Sp 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 Change the oh. oh wait, can I change my suit? Is that changing my suit? Or is this oh these are challenges, okay. They're little challenges that so destroy six enemies with a single auxiliary weapon shot. And maybe I get I unlock these suits for performing destroy two enemies with a single rocket punch. So there's loads of different iron mon suits. There was actually an Iron Mon suit. I should have unlocked an Iron Mon suit um, by uh, playing the demo. I wonder how I equip that suit.
Welcome back, boss. <sighs> Thanks, pal. Friday, what you working on over there? I've put together an early warning system to track our friend from the jet. Oh. Have a look when you can. I will, but first, sandwiches. Not really. Uh, where do we want to go? I've got, oh, okay, I've got some more upgrade points. Hey, boss. Ooh. I've added a dock on the right here where you can select which armor to equip and configure. Uh, primary or your backup. Enjoy. Got it. Okay, so that's... What's that one then? Loadout 2. Oh, okay. Uh, I thought I was, that was me being able to change my Iron Man costume there, but it's just two different loadouts. Um, so I guess, yeah, maybe there's like different combat things you have to do them maybe you could do one suit for flight mobility and one for like power extra ammo cache nano repair yes that sounds like something I'll need a lot of craft there we go enhance the armor's self repair system bounce back from a trouncing faster 100% need that thanks science Love ya! Sir, I've established a visual of our enemy's MO using their recent attacks on your buildings in what? London and Dubai. Oh, my hands are I'm around. not seeing a pattern <laughs> that could tell us where they're hey, striking hey, hey. next. Huh. I got it, boss. Oh, sure, just walk right How in. I, oh. You're more important. Hmm. Using an unclassified war game simulator, I cross referenced the jet attack with military He's definitely going to be the baddie. What? Then I ran the results through a chess program developed in the 1980s by a Russian agent known only as Victor the Fly. <laughs> now, Victor was almost certainly insane. However, whoa, he was whoa, able get to. Get to the bloody point! Wowzers. Shanghai. That's where our enemy will strike next. Oh. Bit of a showman, isn't he? So that just happened. Poor old Friday. Do you think he's right, sir? No. When it comes to stuff like this, he usually is. Right. Ooh. In that case, let me explain the globe. So we're in Malibu. It's an early warning system that displays current threats and can even anticipate new ones. What about raisin threats? Grab the rotation <laughs> ring and swipe it left or right to spin the globe to a mission location. Oh. Got it. Okay. What's that? North Pacific. Is this? As you can see, Shanghai Maybe you can replay is missions. highlighted. Select it to proceed. Going forward, when choosing a location, you can review the data I've prepared for an upcoming mission. Oh. When you're ready, press the deploy button to depart for Shanghai. Deploy. Deployed into darkness again. How's comments doing? Uh, hello to all 500 people watching right now. Oh, hope you're lovely and well on uh, this uh, quite gloomy Thursday here in the UK. It's quarter past two at the moment. I'm going to be playing Iron Man VR for another 45 minutes. Uh, we're going to be getting the full first two hours of this game. I've so far played an hour and a quarter and I'm enjoying myself a lot. Uh, pacing wise it kind of goes in stops and starts um, it's definitely one of those games that is trying to convert new people to VR so it takes things a little bit slower and a little bit more gently uh, for those newcomers compared to um, some of the more hardcore experiences I've been playing on um, PC and uh, things like No Man's Sky and stuff like that but uh, still uh, it's a, it's very enjoyable. There's a lot of personality to it. I'm enjoying the story, the voiceovers, and the uh, very poor dad jokes are um, way up my alley. Uh, lots of little bits of incidental stuff to play with at points. Not always. Sometimes you are just stood there listening to people talk for ages, but I did appreciate a bit earlier on where I could eat sandwiches and make myself a smoothie and stuff like that. And when it comes to the action parts uh it's it's quite thrilling the airplane chase uh, that happened 
at the end of chapter one was um, definitely a highlight. Again, a little bit tedious um, are the uh, training mission type stuff. We've done two of those now. And I'm a bit like, I just want to play the game. But I think now we're going to get a bit more cinematic action. our tech wound up in the wrong hands. But nothing like this. Not like this. Not like this. dark again. It's nice, awkward, awkward silences. Should I say something? Or should I not say something? Should I just sit here? Who knows? What am I going to do? Just talk. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No. Oh, yeah, there we go. Face. Wow. Ooh. Oh, hello. Streets are deserted. The city's under curfew, sir. It appears our friend from the jet is making a mess of things. And Stark Tower is on lockdown. Stark. Let's check it out. Okay, so that's Stark Tower, is it? In Shanghai. Um, from a distance, from a distance, the city looks quite nice. Uh, lots of neon lights going on. I am kind of aware that most of these skyscrapers are just... Uh, squares with windows painted on. Uh, even from this distance, it looks quite low res. But um, the audio is uh, giving me a little bit of background ambient city noise. Like the, the streets and stuff down there, they don't Scanning look that impressive, to be honest. But Oscorp? Isn't that a Spidery Man thing? Sir, I'm getting some confusing readings. From the tower? I can't locate the source, but it's close. See the green dragon. Oh, hello. Look out! Take it's that, buddy. Gravity well. It's pulling us in. I don't want to go in a gravity well. Okay. That drone seems to defy the laws of physics. Ah. And the laws of attraction. It's an old Stark-built Meridian mine. We didn't build it to do that. Sir, its unusual energy signature is still present. Eyes peeled, Friday. Let's fly close to these buildings around. and just. I've detected a concentration of signals. Displaying now. Yeah, so the buildings... The, the, the buildings aren't much to look at, to be honest. Mines detected. Mine, mine. But I guess you're not supposed to be flying close to the buildings. You're supposed to be trying to avoid flying close Sounds to them. Sounds like we got something's attention. For doom. No gravity for me. Thank you very much. Whoop. Wherever you are. Easy. Detecting new signals emerging near the waterfront. Okay. These mines are way too dangerous in a city. We need to get rid of them. Yes. These sky high mines are gonna be very dangerous to all the pedestrians on the ground, Tony. I agree. Unless they are on the floor. No, they're in the yep, no, they're in the air. Hostiles inbound. Hostiles, yeah. Oh, let's try. Up. Nice. That's a, a three for. The armor has sustained damage, sir. Oh yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm getting my buttons confused now. Mine. These mines are keeping us busy. Ooh, well, over scenario, here. Sir. Well, it's working. We can't just ignore them. Yeah. That's one. More hostiles approaching. Where, where? Where, where, where? Every time I lock onto a mine signal, it slips away. Okay. 
bomb. Uh, do the enemies? Oh yeah, the enemies get sucked into the mines. That's useful. Sidestep in the enemies' uh, lasers feels quite cool. Oh, I'm in a. My repulses are reloading. Uh, not my repulses, my smart missiles. Okay. No problem, no problem. We got this. Tony's got this under control. Ow! No, he's not. He's getting shot in the robo junk by. Laser bogeys. See you later. Ooh. Smooth. Da -na -na -na. Da -da. Gonna shoot this. What don't they want me to see? Sir, look. They're targeting Stark Tower. No. That's a defense information. They're guarding it. Why? Friday. What do you bet our mystery friends inside? As I have no gambling protocol, sir, I suppose I'll wager nothing. Okay, let's. Take down these defenses. Sucks to be you, robots. So far, the enemies are very cut and paste drones. Woo, no. There are too many. Are there are there too many for punches? Oh, no, I just punched Stark Towers. Whoops, that's millions of pounds worth of damage I've just done there. I'm noping out of here. Yours! Yours! Yeah, I run, run. I'm Iron Ron. Iron Ron's like Iron Man, but he's got a weird moustache and a beer belly. Keep your guard up, sir. Active hostiles remain. I think I'm getting used to the combat now. I don't think I'm going to be breaking any times on the time trial bits yet, but I don't think I took too much damage then. Yeah. Are we in the system yet? Still locked out. I suggest you come see for yourself. Okay then. Compliance. There we go. Whoa, look Friday, at that. Flashback time. Classy landing. 14, I accidentally set fire to my dad's laboratory. Long story. Anyway, he changes the locks on me. Sir? So I take it as a teachable moment. Oh. Learn a thing or two about breaking and entering. Okay. I just have to remove this panel. Hacking mini game? It's mm. more like a trashing Open mini game. Sensor. Nice. Fourteen year old me would Fancy. be so proud. Fancy door. Definitely far too many loading screens in this game. game has come a long way since the awful announcement trailer says vandal chris moon hey chris moon says oh yes i love iron man i i'm quite enjoying being inside iron man wait what bleep, bleep. Oh, i hope there's a little bit more like that was just stand to be honest that level felt like standard um n64 <laughs> 3d game movie license like it was just your like basic movie license fluff fly around destroy drones like you said, sir, um, the drones were protecting whoever vandalized your office and not not much else i i really enjoyed the the plane get in? bit because There's it no felt a bit more entry. like a set piece let's check out the computers um so I'm, i was a little bit disappointed that the um they were looking shanghai wasn't a little so bit sure more 
involved and it was just a, a, a shooting gallery, but justice for Tim Shung. Tim Shung. Maybe he's maybe not in my databanks. Maybe it's not the yours? gunsmith then. Unless he's recruited the gunsmith. Friday. You get the feeling we're not alone? More than a feeling, sir. Switch More to near infrared, feed him but keep the visible spectrum. Me, 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 me. There's someone else in here. Where? Electromagnetic traces of their presence all around. Then let's find it. Love presence. Okay. A little bit of a de detective work here. Are they hiding in the book? No. Are they hiding in this book? No. Are they hiding in this book about poking bears? Boop. Now I've really gone and pieced him off. Uh, lovely pepper. Wait, what? What was that? It's turned into a horror game. What the? Hey. Ow! Ouch! Cruel. I thought I left this thing unplugged. Bleep blops. It is unplugged, sir. Oh, no. A new beacon will strengthen. Oh. Prosperity rose above the glistening cityscape. Something weird's happening. Is the baddie going to be the green goblin? Is it just because it's gone green and that's all? What was it, Osborne Industries? Is that the green goblin? I don't know. I don't know anything about Marvel. It's quiet out there. For now. For now. Oh. Expecting a call Friday? Not a Nokia 3310, unfortunately. Hello? The dead are restless. Oh. Wrong number. Yeah. Very wrong indeed. Can I... I can't snap it. I'm more in danger of snapping my arms more than the phone. That is a sturdy build. Maybe it is a Nokia 3310. Um, I've done that one. Let's go here. Whoa. Wait, what? Oh, no. Sir? Someone ate my drunken chicken. Lol. That's not funny. Hello. What the... Listen. Sound like someone flushed a robo toilet there. A snow globe. Ah. Snow time at Stark Towers. Investigate the waterfall. Oh. Hello? That's pretty. You in there? You know, the gym has showers. That's Ow! Whoa! What was that? That was... Ghosts. Was it? More than a dozen people are dead after a drone Stop strike in Sinkar. A major attack involving Stark Industries. Stark Industries looks to make a kill another black guy. Uh, 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 all of which begs the question, when, if ever, will Tony Stark face the music? Tonight. Oh, is this so Twitter? A name? Or should I just call you Ghost? My name is unimportant. Hi, unimportant. It is the others. Those whose lives your weapons ended. They are the names you will know before you die. Like Tim Shung? One of many. Yeah. I got no clue who that is. You will. Oh. He is with us in this room. What? We all are. Oh. 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 The oh. silent oh. majority. We want to meet you, Tony Stark. Cool. It's time. Where's your breathing holes? Can I block them up? Jones. Outside. Sure. Sounds like a sexy party. Let's do this. Fade to black. Scene. Exit. Stage left. Maybe Ting Shong was her dad, says Gavin UK 6. Yeah, maybe. This is very Arkham Scarecrow, he says Jacob M. Yeah, you're right. EA122 says creepy. Yeah. I'm I'm invested in this story. Um I've gotta say. No, 
19%. Yeah, I think um, definitely far too many overly long loading screens are probably my main criticism with this game. Everything else is just, you know, there's little little bits where I'm like a little bit like, oh, it'd be nice if they did blah, or blah, blah, blah. But um, in general, this is, um, I really, I really would um, recommend you picking this one up if you've got a PlayStation VR. It's it's really well, uh, really well done. Feels very cinematic. Um, and yeah, being in, uh, being in the suit of Tony Stark is, is pretty cool. Being Iron Man is, um, when you're in the swing of things and when you're pressing the right buttons and when you're flying around, it does feel very, very cool indeed. Boink! Yeah, no, I like it! Yeah, I do, I like it, I do. Change skins next time you upgrade your suit. Press impulse. Where'd she go? She's not showing up on my sensors, but... What? Incoming surface to air missiles. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, wait, that's... Hey, no. Oh, I can do a... A punchy, McDude. Punchy! I missed. Old star nope. cover tanks? Who's playing all of Oh. Has sustained damage, sir. Yeah, it has. I just, oh, I just punched the building off its foundations. This thing's a bit tricky to hit. Am I not close enough to lock on or something? Or why can I? Why can I not lock on to this thing? to outrun. There we go. I'll use the buildings and the of innocent civilians to protect myself. Oh, I oh I have to oh I've got to shoot the missiles out of the sky. Okay. What's that building ever done to you, buddy? Getting my, getting my shooties and my boosties mixed up again. Ow, my butt. That rocket went right up where the sun doesn't shine. Come on, mate. Has this thing got a, a health bar? <gasps> Ooh. Tanks but no tanks. Brilliant. Oh, nuts. These tanks are tough. Let's try a bit of flying with the left, shooting with the right. Oh no. Ooh. Okay, is he dead? No, not yet. Nearly though. Eat rockets! Ooh. I'm taking some damage. There we go. Nice. 100% health again. Whew. Magic of magic city.
More? Oh no. Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's better. I got it now. I got these tanks under control now. Ow! I don't got the tanks under control! Ow. Where's tank? There is tank. Boom! Oh. Die, you dweeb! Dweeb. Lol. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Okay. It's activated hover mode. I might recognise that one, yeah, yeah. No. Oh. No. What? What? Oh no. Developers. Oh no. Oh, here we go. Is this going to be a little bit more of a. Okay. Something more than a, a shooting gallery now. We haven't much time though. Oh! Follow the conduit. Oh, shush, Okay. Uh, where was the conduit? I saw it. There it is. Okay, so I have to fly myself here. If you don't have a device, you'll need to extract the battery. Mine. Woo! Oh. Yeah, shut it down for that. What? Okay, so we're up to the top now. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't even. I didn't. You didn't even have to tell me. Oh. Duh. Yes. Okay, cool. A couple of things to think about now. Uah! Gravity mines! Where are you? I hear you. Come on, let's get to this house as quick as we can. Here we go. Oh, that's something there. There is a lot of people. Haha, <laughs> hostiles outbound, more like. Uh, okay, I need to follow the pipes again. That goes right down here, across the road. Oh, nuts, right back up here again. Oh, why would they... This is not how buildings are planned and made. Okay, yoink. Mine, no, mine, mine! 
Bye. Oh, no servetti. Okay, oh. The conduit's over the other side of the building, isn't it? It's like here, and it goes this way. It's right there. It's right there. Hopefully these... Ah! Why did that happen? <laughs> Hopefully these droids give me a break when I pull that out. Woo! Punch in. Oh. I, I meant to coolly land on top of the building like a cool dude then. And instead I missed it. There we go. Hadouken! Yeah. Yeah, I, I like that sound. She's so goth, ghost. Boom. Iron Man. Okay. Three minutes. Ah, oh, nuts. Ah. Oh. Oh god, where is it? It's the other side of the building. Ow! No! Birds of a tank, fuck! Ah, oh, shit! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There you go, got it. Okay. Tug. Pull. Fly! Shit, they're throwing a lot of stuff at me now. Doesn't matter because Iron Man is here. Okay. Ooh. There it is. Got it. Yank. No. Yank. Yeah, fuck. It's good if Iron Man's not afraid of heights, really, isn't it? Yeah. Fist of power! Boom. Okay. Who wants to shoot him? What? Boom. Okay. We are moving so fast right now. It's unbelievable. We're going at 330 speeds per hour. Oh no. Looks like Abe from Abe's Odyssey down there. Boy, boy. Yikes. Oh, that's why I couldn't fly. My head was bashing on the ceiling. I know, I know, I know. Fists of Fury, Palms of Punishment. Well, 
drones. Oh, tankmans. Oh, two tankmans. Ow! What was that? Pew, pew, pew. Yikes. There's a lot of rockets in these pockets. Ah, you're in dire shape. Come on. Ooh. Absolutely not. Whoa. Yes. You tanker. Up we go. And rockets away. One for you. Boom. Ooh. Ah, oh, I wanted to fly through that hole in the building. Wow. Aggie. Turrahawks, stay on this channel. Unibeam. Oh, Stark away. The Unibeam was in the demo as well. Sounds a bit rude. Okay, wow, well, they are angry with me in Shanghai. Just like in real life. Uh-oh. Take that, Scumbelina. It's very cool when you get into the fighting, it really is. Yep, 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 yep. Don't worry, I'm Tony Stark. Damage means nothing to a millionaire. Bill billionaire. My unibrow is at 70%. Whoa, no, no gravity wells. Ho oh, ho ho ho! Sucks to be you. My Unibeam is at 88% now. I don't know if you can see it. It's up there in the top right hand corner. <laughs> Listen. Not on. Have all the rockets. Gravity well. Punchy, 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 punchy. Oh, uh, hell. There we go. Oh, pff, I forgot how to do it for a second. Ah! Okay. Did that destroy everyone? Whew. That was quite intense. Yeah. What? Oh. What? That doesn't sound like a nice goodbye. Bump, bump, bump. Bum 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 bum. I was quite enjoyed that when it started really kicking off, and there was tanks, and there was things in the air to do, and there was like civilians to rescue. That was a good buzz. That was a good, uh, a good conclusion to that level. It started off as just like a really basic shooting gallery around, quite a dull kind of 
basic cityscape. Um, and then after having a little bit of a spooky bit, uh, it got like really intense combat. And there was a lot to think about and do. It really tested my skills of combat and flying and button remembrance. And uh, yeah, it was uh, when I was like flying around, looking below me, shooting down, pew, 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 shooting out, looking on things and stuff. It felt awesome. It was that was really cool. Uh, it's uh, yeah. It, the, the beginning of that level was a little bit dull, but once things really ramped up, I uh, I got into that a lot. You could probably tell because I kind of stopped talking as much as I normally do because I was too busy concentrating on like pew pewing my way around. Uh, we've only got like about eight minutes left. Oh, lost game audio. Oh no. Oh, but how long's the game audio been going for? Awesome game about Iron Man rules. Sorry, the audio of the game has gone. I don't know uh, why that was have happened. Let me see if I can fix that. We're nearly at the end of the um, the stream now, to be honest, but. I don't want settings. I want to change my source. There we go. Uh, hmm. Why then? That's the sound of the game. I can hear the game. So I don't know why. I think you knocked the HDMI cable, someone was saying. Potentially. How could I have done that, though? It's right over there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> At least uh, <laughs> most of that mission. Uh, oh, most of the mission. Whoops. At least you got the sh the pew pew sound effects, right? Sorry about that. Awkward. Um, I don't know why the sound effects. Uh, I don't know why the audio is gone from this. So um, apologies about that. Sounded like you kicked a, you unplugged something. You can still see the visuals though. It's really weird. Let me just ah, I've got so many cables. <laughs> I'm not Iron Man. I'm Cable Man. Uh, cable Guy. Uh, oh fudge. Hold on. Let me unplug that and replug it in again. If in doubt, knock an Xbox over. Ah, there we go. Do you know what I think it was? I don't think I plugged... I don't think I unplugged a... Um, I, don't, I don't think I unplugged a uh, cable. I think while I was um, flailing around, somehow I hit my mouse pointer, which then lowered... Th which somehow hit the mute button on my video capture device. Um... So, yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Oh, I feel bad about that now. Uh, Happy Dog says more Ian sound effects, though. At least you got the... Um, at least you got the subtitles so you knew what was going on. Uh, did go back... Did you get the spooky... Was it just the shooty bit? Hopefully you got the the spooky ghost bit and everything like that. Um, yeah, I think it turns out I, po I punched, punched my mouse. Uh, all right, we've got five minutes left. Let's see what happens uh, here quickly before I... Actually, maybe I should just leave it here because this is like the start of a new chapter and I can continue uh, this new chapter on next week's episode of Jun's VR Corner. Well, this week's even. It'll be Sunday. Uh, 
I don't know how many missions there are in this game or how long this game is. I'm going to guess about six to eight you hours. You to have a phone call in the kitchen, sir. Could be Pepper calling. Could be. So I don't think I'm. I, I, I don't think I'm going to answer the phone. I think I'm going to leave the stream here. Uh, now you can hear it again, and uh, I will um, continue from this point on Sunday's episode of Ian's VR Corner. I can't guarantee that uh, <laughs> there'll be more Ian sound effects, but there will be definitely be a nice big chunk of more Iron Man for you to watch on Sunday. Are you going to change skins? I, how do I? Let's find out how we change skins. Oh, I can't. Um, is it going to be in the, that's what's the start menu, I pressed it, how change skins do, yeah I'm not 100, I've, do we have to do it on there, alright hold on, I won't end just yet then, fuck it, see if I can change skins once I've listened to the telephone, boop boop, oh it was a telephone, Tony? Oh, How are you feeling? We're going to hang up on you. Like I fell out of an airplane. You sound pretty spry for that. Well, someone broke my fall. So I'm you stuck here name? now. No, well, I'd like but to he was quite him. dashing. Sharp suit. Is that eating an apple? Hey, Bob. He's on the phone, you imbecile. Is that Gunsmith? Oh, hey, Potts. How's the hospital? What kind of drugs are they giving you? Hang up immediately. Boss, when you're done canoodling, I need you to check out something downstairs. I'm sorry, sir. I told him you were not to be disturbed. Where did he come from? The ninth circle of hell, I'm afraid. Could everyone just give us a minute, please? Of course, sir. Good to hear you're in fine fettle again, Miss Potts. Thanks, Friday. Take care. <laughs> the gunsmith, Tony? What were you thinking? Two Tonys are better than one? <sighs> Double Tony. You really should have gotten a second opinion on that. Yeah, well... My second opinion was undergoing a brain scan at the time. Speaking of which, I should rest. Yes. Be safe. And I will. don't let your worst half torture Friday. Okay, talk to Gunsmith now, huh? Can I take an apple with me to Gunsmith? No, I'll take a sandwich. Take a sandwich. Hmm. Off we go. Sweat. Ah. I dropped my sandwich on the stairs. Okay, here we go. Right. How change? No. Is there a way to change costume here? Uh, someone said press impulse because impulse someone what, what the hell is impulse Uh, impulse. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 Right. Sorry. I thought you meant a button for with an impulse button. All right. Sorry. I'm very slow. It's hot in here. I apologise. So you can change skins like so. Then. There you go. So is impulse the default skin? Right, Impulse is default skin, but there are ones that are locked, like this one. I have to destroy enemies with auxiliary weapons to unlock that one. So, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 skins, Molten Lava. Oh, that's a cool one. Or Iron Patriot. I don't know which one was the one that I unlocked to play in the demo. That's quite cool as well. It's like I I am 
capped tire in America there. Oh, I quite like molten lava man though. Right. So that's how you change the skins, finally. It takes me a while. It takes me like I said, Xpectrum takes me a while, but I get there in the end. So yeah, I'm gonna continue playing through uh, this game on Sunday's VR Corner. It won't be live, it will be pre-recorded, but I will pre-record it as live so you will get to see the entire story and the continuing adventures of Ian Man in Iron Man's suit. Hopefully you've had a good time watching this stream. If you did, don't forget to give it a like. Please do subscribe for daily videos here on Eurogamer and uh, yeah, tune in on Sunday for more Ian's VR Corner, where I continue my playthrough of Iron Man. Uh, hopefully, with fewer Ian sound effects and more video game sound effects this time. Uh, coming up tomorrow, it's Friday tomorrow. Aoife's got a video all about The Last of Us 2 coming up tomorrow. Saturday, there's uh, more Animal Crossing listicles as I check out the most popular villages in Animal Crossing for July 2020. Do you have the most wanted dreamies on your island find out on saturday then sunday we've got uh, more iron man coming up round onto monday zoe's back so there'll be more live final fantasy 7 on monday resident evil 4 on tuesday and the rest of the week is as much of a surprise to you as it will be to me because we haven't planned that far ahead. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Big thanks to the mods for keeping the um, ultra spammers under control. I saw quite a few of them um, this, uh, this stream whenever I lifted up my visor. So apologies for that um, and apologies for the, uh, the lack of sound for, uh, for, for that, that battle. Um, I'll go and uh, go and have words with myself off camera. Uh, goodbye, and it's pew pew to you. Pew pew. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Iron Pandit wants a rage cry for Oxbox. The rage cry could be pew pew, but it's got to be in capital letters. Pew pew. Okay, bye. Pew pew. pew, pew.